Do you want to know the differences between the Dolce Gusto Piccolo and the Dolce Gusto Genio single serve coffee machine? Let me show them to you here today on aromacup.com. Hi everyone, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks as always for joining me in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. This is gonna be quick. What we wanted to do today is to show you guys the differences between the Dolce Gusto Piccolo and Genio single serve machines because they look like they could be twins. They're sort of twinsies in a lot of ways, but I'll show you the quick differences between the two. Uh, both of them have removable and movable trays. Both of them have 21 ounce water tanks, so they're not very big, but very easy to use. Both of them are real compact and they have this sort of bulbous design to them. Uh, both of them make use of Dolce Gusto pods that includes the coffee pods, the tea pods, the cold versions of those pods, as well as the combo pods like cappuccinos, chuckachinos, things like that. They both do that and they both do it pretty quickly and easily. Uh, here's the difference in brewing though between the two. Uh, if you're going to be brewing with the Genio, the Genio is a little more set and brew. And that is because not only does it have an automatic feature, which allows you to choose by just pressing a button if you want to brew hot or cold, but it also has this little scroll wheel on the top that changes the display on the front that lets you choose how much water should be brewed into your Dolce Gusto pod. So all you need to do is open up your brew tray, place a pod, hit a button and you can walk away and come back to a cup of coffee. That's where things are different over here on the Piccolo. The Piccolo is not a set and brew. You could, but you need to stay close. And that's because, again, it brews the same way. Open up the tray, place a pod, pop that pod in, lock it down. But you have to manually decide when to turn the machine on and to turn it off. And that's done using this little lever on the top of the machine. It kind of feels like the, cap the, like the espresso cappuccino machines that I uh, used in coffee shops in the past because you have to actually choose how much you're going to pull water-wise into your pod. So if you like a little bit more of a manual feel to your single serve coffee, you can get that if you use the Piccolo. If you want the automatic ease, you're gonna wanna go for the Genio. And beyond that, these are very much the same machine. As I say, they look almost the same. It's just their brewing apparatus is a little bit different between each one. And of course, there's gonna be a pricing difference between these two machines. The Piccolo is really more of the entry-level Dolce Gusto machine because it comes in at a price about $39.99. Not too bad a price point for a little machine like this. The Genio, it's a little bit more of a genius, and so it comes at the price point about, of about $129.99. So that $100 difference buys you the ability to dial in your brew size using this kind of nifty little scroll wheel on the top of the machine and the ability to just press a button, walk away and come back to a cup of coffee. If you don't necessarily wanna spend that much in order to get that, you could go very easily for the Piccolo, spend 40 bucks, not too bad, and make a pretty great cup of coffee. I've liked the coffee I've had between both of these. When it comes to brew temperature, it's another thing I should mention, they're just about the same. Piccolo is a little bit lower, about 170 degrees, whereas the Genio, about 180. A little bit of a difference there, not too much, not something that I think most folks are really going to notice. Overall though, very similar machines, just different brewing uh, apparatus when you come right down to a brewing methods. So, I hope that you guys find that useful and helpful if you go out to add one of these machines to your own at-home coffee shop. If you want to find out the best place to go to do that, join us on aromacup.com. Check out the link here in the description of our video. I'll tell you how to add these machines to your own at-home coffee shop. As always, guys, I am Brian with aromacup.com. I want to thank you for joining me in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Until next time, thanks for watching. Enjoy your cup and take care.